What's up guys, Danny the Ocean Experience here, and as you see by that Frostbite 2 logo, we're going to be doing a Medal of Honor Warfighter beta review, and I think uh, I'm going to be stating some good points today, so I hope you uh, tune in to the very end and just watch all this video through. I actually get some good gameplay in this video, but if you just want a flat out scene of how the game plays out, and not just a review, but you just want some gameplay as well, I'm actually going to have another video that's going to be linked in this description as well uh, a little later on today, so I encourage you to check that out as well. I get some really great gameplay of how some guns work and how people, you know, are going to play and what to expect already because of the beta. Now, as I join this game, I'm noticing some new features compared to the last game. It looks pretty cool so far. No, I don't know why, but I really like this little feature here that you walk away and it says, I'm ready. Now, uh, this is my very first ever gameplay. I uh, do kind of get my ass handed to me on this occasion. Now, I don't know what I was thinking when I joined this. I was really, really cautious. Um, I actually kind of wanted to hate on this right away, because boom, I get spawn killed right away. And, you know, I'm like, okay, yep, here we go. Here's going to be the, you know, newest Medal of Honor being nothing different than the last. And, uh, you know... And to some point, I am correct on that, and I'm gonna I'm gonna tackle that. But um, in my other gameplay, which is like I said, I encourage you to watch. Um, it's a 50/50, and I'll get to that as well. Now, the reason why I say that I was early to judge is because of these guys right here. But you're always gonna get faggots like this on a frostbite game, whether it's Battlefield or Medal of Honor. You know, you just have faggots like that. But you know what? It's n no different than the faggots on Call of Duty, the jump shot, and all that bullshit. And it's nothing like the faggots on Halo. You know, you every game series has its certain faggots that do certain faggoty things. And you can never do anything to change that, even if you are a game designer yourself. There's nothing you can do in hopes to change that. People just have to deal with it. So I'm not going to recommend or anything else like reprimand it either for the faggot players that play games. You know, you can't really do anything, and it's not really the game's fault. Now, at first I did believe that the aiming sucks, because as you'll see here, and good thing it is a beta, because as you'll see right here, I'm hitting someone. So maybe they need to work on the surroundings a little better, because look at this, I when I shoot, I do shoot him, and nothing is there but a tree. I've played this map like four times, nothing is there but a tree and leaves, and it's telling me I was not shooting him whatsoever. You know, it might be the beta, it might be a cheater that he was, I don't know, but it certainly needs to be worked on before the game's released, nonetheless. Now, you do get this camo by default, but later on in the video, I'm going to be showing you some of the things I've already unlocked, and some of the things you can look forward to in the game uh, when it does come out. Now, um, luckily for me, I actually had a great buddy to work with, and I believe it's like 86 Ghost or something, he's up in the top right corner in green. And, uh, he's actually a beast, and just as much as I'm a beast in this game already. So I'm really thankful for your guys in this video, you know. I'm actually getting some good gameplay for you guys. Now, the crawl feature is no different than Battlefield or the last Medal of Honor. They didn't work on that, but there's not much you can do for the crawling feature. Now, these guys, I believe, are... We're winning, actually, I think. So we're gonna have a victory for you guys. But in my opinion, I think that this game is a 50-50 for you guys to buy. Now, I say 50-50. If you're a Medal of Honor fan, and I I put myself somewhere in between. I'm not really a Medal of Honor fanboy like uh, Strike Zone 12B, my friend Joe. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not a fanboy, but I actually do like it. I mean, it's something different, and it's something still that I like, so... You know, it's a 50-50 for anybody like me, or anybody a little lesser than me, or a little bit more than me, by slighter means. You know, if you choose to buy it, you could jo enjoy it, or if you choose to buy it, you could hate it. So, uh, if you have $60 to play a gamble, then, you know what, go for it, you know? Take a 50-50 chance. You know what I'm saying? It's not really a loss or a win until you find out for yourself. This is one of those games where it actually is a guessing game, and there's really nothing I can tell you that will persuade you of your own opinion like other games you may be able to do. Now, as you saw there, there's my first concern. Being Frostbite servers suck the most ass. Now, if you guys are coming to this video and you guys have stayed in this video and you guys are also wrestling fans in the WWE 12 and 2011 servers, you know how bad they suck. 
Well, I'm telling you right now, and you probably agree with me if you're knowing what I'm talking about. Frostbite servers suck more dick than the wrestling servers. And I think, you know, for future references, and I hope this video gets somewhere, but like, Medal of Honor, Battlefield, whoever really makes you, you need to pick new servers, man. You really, you guys really need to work on that, because it, they, your servers suck, just flat out. There's nothing more I can even say on that, if you just suck. But, I mean, other than that, I have no uh, official formal complaints about this game so far, other than the faggots that no one can do anything about. Now, uh, Rise Above Hate, as you'll see us working closer together later on in this, uh, gameplay, is, uh, Strike Zone 12B. He actually has a video up on this already, so I would encourage you to check that out. And I will actually put his video link for him in my description, since I have more fans and subscribers, and hopefully you guys will go his way as well and check out what he has to offer to the table. Now, um... Anyway, back to the servers. I just think there's nothing that this game is going to, you know, benefit from if the servers stay the same as any Frostbite servers, you know, would be. Now, apparently, the my friends that have played Battlefield 3 lately, they've said they've bettered, I guess. You know, but um, I really don't, I don't see it in this beta. I mean, it is a beta, but still, I mean, they should be a little bit more presentable in the beta if they truly have changed they should you know be a little bit more clear to see and i'm not seeing anything but um as you'll see there's kill streaks back in this game so it's nothing new compared to the old one and as you'll see i'm still raping ass like i could do in any game but um yeah like i said that that crawl features there's nothing new and um towards the end of the video i'm going to show you some gun customization and I hope you uh, leave a video like for me so this video can grow. I believe I do capture some of the greater things of this the beta and what it has to offer. So if you guys could add this to your favorites, maybe share it on your Facebook or just to friends. Leave this video a like and maybe even uh, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. That would really help my cause and it would really help this word get around because I do plan on doing more reviews, not just for betas and demos, but just for stuff I can get my hands on earlier than others just so I can have the top-notch shit coming to you guys my subscribers exclusively and that's what I really I benefit from you guys so that's all going to be about you guys now as you see here I think there's a new animation for bomb planning I wasn't really a fan of the last Medal of Honor like I'm becoming of this one but I do plant the bomb and I plan it successfully even though there are counter campers right there we do actually end up blowing up the bomb which I was quite happy about, but you only get 50 points. 50 points for blowing up a bomb. Now, I think you need to hold down the bomb for like a minute, so I'm hoping in the actual game you get more points, because all the deaths you can take, all the campers you might have to deal with, 50 points just does not seem like it's going to cut the cheese that needs to be cut. So maybe that's another small thing that can be kinked out before the game's released on the 23rd of October, and I think that would help at least you know I guess the morale I mean it's not really gonna affect the game but as you saw right there it's 50 points and so maybe you could give us more points maybe like 300 since it is a, a bomb plant and a defend you know you're doing two things and you're putting up with all these people so maybe uh, you know shoot some more points our way for such a thing that would be a small thing a small nice gesture you guys could do for us but um yeah towards the end of this video guys you'll see the servers and how bad they suck and, uh, well, I just hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I do lag out again because of Frostbite servers. Like I said, that's my only complaint, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Consider leaving it a like, comment, and maybe even subscribing. Thank you.